What's up, YouTube? You're inside the edge, and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm doing something a little bit different on this video. I'm giving you guys some commentary. I was going to do an actual video for this video, but my camera is, has been down, um, so I can't really use it. It's not working as of this moment. So I said, you know what? I'm going to continue you know, making content. There's a lot to uncover. There's a lot of you know quarterbacks in this draft that's trying to find a landing spot. And I would say, guys, this is definitely a very interesting you know, NFL draft because there are so many players, so many good talented players, but it just seems like there are so many franchises that's so indecisive. Like we don't have a clear cut idea of where, you know, each individual in the, in the first round is going to land. But um, it just seems like J.J. McCarthy has made a name for himself. You know, looking at, you know, last year, Caleb Williams was the Heisman winner. You know, looking at, you know, this season, it looks like, you know, Jaden Daniels took the league by storm. He became a Heisman winner. He became a big name at the collegiate level. Then you got Drake May at North Carolina. You know, those were pretty much the three top, you know, quarterbacks we've been looking at all season. But, you know, looking at J.J. McCarthy and seeing what he did in the national championship game, he definitely put himself on the map and he caught a lot of eyes. And it looks like he caught Sean Payton's eyes because it looks like Sean Payton is glued to J.J. McCarthy. There's been reports saying that, um, you know, Sean Payton is very interested in J.J. McCarthy. Um, you know, he sees a lot in him. And I'm kind of surprised because it just seems like things are happening so fast in Denver. We're going to get into Russell Wilson in a little bit, but it, it, it just feels like, um, you know, the Broncos are heading in a new direction and it looks like they're going to kind of revamp their offense and they're going to head into this draft with the idea of drafting a quarterback with their first round pick. So I'm going to get right into it, guys. I mean, looking like it looks like JJ, you know, like I said, guys, he's put on a really good show for this college season, guys. I mean, he's made a name. For, he's took a lot of strides. He's made a name for himself. Um, he did go 27-1 and one as it started at Michigan. Um, you know, he played in 40 total games. Um, you know, he threw for 49 touchdowns just to only 11 interceptions. I mean, this guy, you know, he's definitely took a lot of strides throughout his years in Michigan, guys. Um, a, a lot of us is kind of looking at him like, you know, this guy could actually be a first-rounder. And, um, even when you look at the numbers, I mean, he threw for 2,991 yards. Um, it ranked him 35th in the country. Not big numbers. Um, and I think that's kind of a knock that people use against them because obviously, you know, you know, Michigan, they had um, a really good running game, a really good defense, a stacked offense. And some people will say, you know, you know, J.J. didn't really have to be the man, the quote unquote man or the leader to really lead this team to, you know, winning a national championship. But I don't buy that, guys. I think looking at his season, I, you know, you know, we definitely seen the competitiveness. Um, you know, we've seen that this guy really, um, you know, wants to win. You know, you see the attributes, you see the intelligence, you see his mentality. You see a lot of things in the quarterback when, you know, when a, when a quarterback leads their team to a national championship. But I do believe that the Denver Broncos is a good landing spot for J.J. McCarthy. I do like this idea. I do like the pick if they were to go after him because it looks like, you know, this Denver team could really use a quarterback. And I'm going to get right into it, guys, of why I think that this is a perfect situation for J.J. because let's get right into it, guys. When you look at the depth chart, you know, there's Russell Wilson and then there's Jared Stidham. There's not really much, um, you know, it's not really a vibrant team when it comes to you know the quarterback play looking at Russell Wilson I mean pretty much with that story I think Russell Wilson I mean he had a spectacular year last year in Denver but obviously with Sean Payton it was more about his contract um you know Russell Wilson he didn't want to bid on um you know kind of giving back some of the money if he were to get injury I'm um, injured I mean it was like an injury kind of thing going where Russ said hey I want all my money man you know I signed this contract and a lot of players you know they look for that insensitive when it comes to um you know injuries and stuff you know players want to be taken care of so it looks like it's going to be a contract issue with with Denver and Russ and I think by you know the next you know month or next few weeks um, I do think that Denver will let go of Russell Wilson or they will trade him but something will happen where I truly believe he will not be the quarterback uh, coming into next year Russell he did sign a five-year 242.6 million dollar deal back in 2000 2022 and it just seems like you know how things just took a, a turn it just seems like man we really wish that things could have worked out better with Wilson but here's an opportunity for JJ McCarthy to come into a team 
that's pretty much, you know, a defensive led team. Um, I do think that, you know, Denver, you know, if they can just have some tweaks a little bit in their run game with their receivers, I think that Denver can make some noise next year. But looking at, you know, J.J. McCarthy, one thing I really do like about him is his accuracy, the, his decision making, the way he can process the game. Um, I like his toughness, his leadership, his competitiveness. You know, these are the attributes you need to be at the NFL level. And, you know, looking at J.J., he still has some leaps to make. You know, he still has to strive um, a little bit more. You know, he definitely has to work more on a, on his footwork, his mechanics. But I do think that he is, well, he is the youngest quarterback in this year's draft. He's 21 years of age. And even just looking at his stature, guys, he's 6'3". He weighs 203 pounds. Um, I, you know, I don't really see a lot of limitations when it comes to J.J. McCarthy. Be, just because he's 6'3", he can see over the line. You know, he's very comfortable with moving in the pocket. We've seen that throughout, um, you know, his year, his years in Michigan where this guy, the way he, he rolls out out of the pocket, um, you know, the way he can just make accurate passes down the field, um, you know, being in, in a pocket, he just seems very comfortable. You know, um, I do like quarterbacks that has composure you need to have composure guys he has a lot of composure when he's in the pocket um those are some excellent attributes of what i like about jj and again guys i'm gonna just jump right into this denver offense um i do think that you know looking at the running back situation i do think you know javante williams i I don't know if he's gonna be the guy moving forward for denver i mean this guy only averaged 3.6 yards per carry last season I don't think that's enough to have a running game to be behind a rookie quarterback. I think he's going to need a lot more support when you look at the run game. I'm not really sure what the wide receiver room will look like next year for Denver, but I'm expecting them to keep Cortland Sutton. Um, I'm expecting them to keep Jerry Judy and Tim Patrick. I know Tim Patrick, he's been dealing with a lot of, you know, season injuries, but when he's healthy, guys, he's one of the better NFL receivers. Um, You know, looking at Judy, he's a really good route runner. Um, you know, this is a guy that you can put in the slot. You can put in the outside. Um, he is a, a you know, a, a threat on offense. You know, he's a he's definitely a threat on offense. So I think J.J. will come into a situation where his receiving core is good, but he, he will not really have a good running game. But I do think that in this draft, I do think that Denver could fill in those gaps. I know Denver can look at, you know, look towards a tight end, look at some running backs to really, um, you know, get JJ to the next level where he doesn't have to come in and be the man and, and, you know, be this guy that has to, you know, make a huge play every single snap. You know, it's just good to rely on a run game, especially when it comes to, you know, young rookie quarterbacks. You kind of want to ease the pressure. But, you know, looking at JJ, he has the potential. Um, I definitely think that he has, you know, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of strides to go. But if he's put in the right system, I think Sean Payton can really mold him to be an, to be a really good quarterback. You know, I think, um, you know, Sean Payton, you know, he's a, a tough you know coach to play for. But, you know, he's a coach where if he believes in you, he will, you know, help you to become the most successful player you can be, guys. So with that being said, guys, I don't want to make this video too long, but I do like the pick with J.J. McCarthy coming to Denver. I do think that if Denver can tweak a little bit in their offensive game, I think that J.J. can thrive. Um, it is going to be a tough division as well, but um, I do think that J.J. will be a really good pickup, and I do think that Denver is going to go a new direction. I think Russell Wilson, he may get traded. He may get let go, but we are going to figure that out. We're going to find out the whole thing when things hit the fan in the next few weeks, guys, because this draft is coming, and a lot of us is excited, and I know a lot of teams are, are just trying to figure out their next move, guys. So it looks like Denver's move in this year's draft could be a quarterback, guys. So for you Denver fans, I want to hear your guys' opinion. I want to hear what you guys think about, um, you know, J.J., do you the guys think he fits your offense? Um, you know, how well do you think he can really play under Sean Payton, guys? So with that being said, I want to make this video too long. I want to hear you guys' thoughts, comments, and thank you guys for tuning in. If you're still watching this video, be sure to subscribe, drop a like, and help my channel grow, guys. I love talking football with you guys. I love interacting with you guys on Twitter. I have, I have a lot of fun doing this, guys. So until next time, have a good day. Peace.